found it.
Revelation of your word, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Speak your God from the spirit, my Lord. Questa ala ha un codengo. Questo è 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 Mercy uh, 
Simply put, is us receiving something other than what we actually deserve. Mm. Now, you, you deserve, you deserve a whooping, but God says, I'm going to make a way. You deserve to be punished, but God says, I'm going to bless you anyhow. Yeah, it's receiving something other than me, that's mercy. Lamentation put it this way, he says, uh, it is of the Lord's mercies that, that we, we are, are not, not consumed because what? His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great as I think of this. It's when we, uh, when we deserve to be exposed, the mercy says, I'll keep your secret. Jesus. It's when we deserve to be punished, the mercy says, instead of punishing you, I'm going to give you the opportunity to fix what you broke. Mm. Hallelujah. Mercy, mercy. You know, has anybody in here ever been lied on? Yes. Anybody ever lied on you? Yeah. Falsely accused yes. you of doing something you did. Falsely or wrongly accused you of saying something that you never, you never said. Wow. And when that happens, most of us go on a campaign trying to get justice. Justice. They're lying on me. I did not do what they said I did. I, I, I will just not that. When you know you're right, call everybody on the phone. Call the person that said it. Call the person that said it too. Let's all get on the phone. Let's, let's, let's meet in person because I know I'm right. I want my justice. Out of fact, you've been falsely accused. That's, that's the devil. I, I really don't want to hold Revelation 12 calls the devil the accuser uh, of the brother. And we all know the devil's alive. Huh. But then, there are some of us who are accused of things that are actually true. I'll say it again. I'll say it again. There's some of us that are accused of stuff that we actually need. Yep. Man, talk about it. Yeah. And, 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 and now you want people to stop talking. Not because it's a lie, because it's true. Right. right. It, it's really none of their business, but it's true. They shouldn't be spreading it, but it is true. true. So, so, no, you don't need justice for this one. No, for this one, you need mercy. Come on. Wow. Why? Because you did. You did it. You got caught in that lie. You did that. You, you, you did it. You went and got in your car and went where you had no business going at 2 a.m. in the morning. I'm not going to even get in the way you went. But but you did it. You did it. You did it. Yeah. You was the one sending those inappropriate pictures to that married man. Uh-oh. Hello, Walls in here. Uh-oh. Yeah, you, you, you did it. You did it. Some of y'all need to clean your phone out as soon as the service is over. Click off the service and go in your right. phone and, and, and delete. Uh, delete, 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 delete. <laughs> Yeah. See, for this one, it ain't time to start talking about I need justice and all. This is time to get on your knees. Matter of fact, go lower. Get on your face and say, Lord, have, have mercy. Have mercy. See, in court, when innocent people are cleared and their name is cleared, and when their case is thrown out, not really a big deal. Because they were innocent in the first place. But it's when a guilty person is allowed to go free. Now that's a big deal. Why? Because you know uh, that they did not get what they deserve. Uh, God, God decides to show mercy. You can always tell the people who God has shown mercy to because they're the ones that don't sit quiet in church. Yeah, they're the ones who come in and raise their hands. They're the ones that shout the loudest and dance right, right. the hardest. Yeah. They get on everybody's nerves praising because they were guilty. But they've been set free by the mercies of God. Somebody who was a wretch, uh, somebody who was who was who was once was lost, but now they're found. Listen, I praise God all kind of crazy like I do because I was guilty. I would have been destroyed by my own actions if it had not been for Jesus. I wish somebody in here would just catch that. Jesus. If they had not been for you. Hallelujah. I wish some God somebody to give God thanks for mercy. Thank you, Lord. Thank Praise you, Lord. God for what could have happened. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. What should have happened that never did happen. Give him glory because it could have happened, but it never did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank, Thank you, God. Jesus. It says, oh, give yeah, thanks, First Chronicles 16, unto the Lord, for he is good. Love what the text tells us right here. The text says that God's mercy 
it endures. It endures. It endures. We also teach several times, you've heard me say that, uh, to endure means to suffer well. Wow. He's saying that his mercy suffers well. He's wow. saying that his mercy is durable. In other words, his mercy can handle your mess. Wow. Yes. See, a lot of us operate in a vacuum, and we are narcissistic even in our mistakes. We feel like we are all by ourselves and that nobody has messed up more than we have. Nobody's blown it bad as we have. And we allow the enemy to trick us into thinking that the whole world knows about it. Everybody's talking about me. Everybody's looking at me. I, I need you to wake up and shake yourself out of that foolishness. Unless your name is Michael, uh, Elvis, Prince, Whitney, uh, calm down. Ain't nobody thinking about you like that. <laughs> nobody's paying that much attention to you. That is the trick of the enemy. Everybody don't know. They don't. Everybody ain't talking about it. And guess what? There's nothing too too big for our Father to forgive. Why? Right? Because His mercy it actually never runs out. It endures. It lasts. Uh, 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 it, like the Timex Watchman says, it takes the licking and keeps on ticking. Like the Energizer Bunny, it's, just, it's still going. It's still going. His mercy is bigger than your mess. His mercy is more powerful than your mistakes. His mercy endures. It endures. It endures. My question is, what what does God's mercy need endurance for? Huh. That, that's my question. What? Why does God's mercy need to endure? Why does God's mercy need to suffer well? Hmm. Because endurance, what it, what it really implies, endurance implies suffering. I've never heard anybody say, you know what, I just got to endure all this love. No. Nobody's ever said that. This love is too much. I can't endure all this love. I, I've never heard nobody say, I have to just, this, this, this happiness is too much. I can't endure all this happiness. No. <laughs> when somebody says, I had to endure, they're implying there has been some sort of suffering. People or things that have endured have suffered something. Right. I know you asked, are you telling me that God's mercy suffers? Wow. It depends. Is being taken for granted a type of suffering? Wow. <laughs> hmm. Have you ever been in a relationship with somebody who's always threatening to leave? <laughs> Every time I get into argument, oh, Lord. It's, over. it's quits. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> it's quits. It's quits. I I'm leaving you. I don't like you no more. I don't want you no more. And a week later, they don't talk to you for a week. And a week later, they come back and apologize. And, and what do we do? We say, okay. <laughs> and we let them back into our space. And we do this over and over and over again. After a while, wouldn't you feel abused? After a while, wouldn't you feel misused? Wouldn't you start to feel like you've been taken advantage of? Toxic. How many times have we talked to God in a desperate way and said, Lord, if you just, please, Lord, just get me out of this. Just get me out of this one, one more time. I promise you, I, I make a vow. We making vows now. I vow, Lord, I'll never do it again. I'll never, Lord, I'm sorry, I won't do it. I make a vow. I'm on my knees. I'm on my face. I'm crying to you, Lord. I make a vow. I'll never do it again. Yeah. Beg. Just beg God. Beg so much hands look like cups. Lord, please, please, please. <laughs> and you get up from there with you and your vow. Uh-oh. And then, not even a week later. Okay, I'll give you a month. A month later, you do the exact same thing. thing over and over again. Listen, I believe most of us, all of us got that kind of testimony. Come on, keep it 100 in here. Everybody has that kind of testimony. His, his mercy has to endure our disrespect. His mercy uh, has to endure Jesus. our disregard. His mercy has forgive to endure Jesus. our poor judgment. His mercy has to endure our poor character. His mercy has to endure our inconsistency. His mercy has to endure our irresponsibility. His mercy has to endure our double-mindedness. His mercy has to endure our doubt, our fear.
fear, our egos, his mercy has to endure our insecurities, his mercy has to endure our intimidations, our, our need to please people, <laughs> our selfishness and our pride. And he endures it all, not just for a moment, but for ever. His mercy endures forever. Lord, have mercy. God the Father, he's made it very clear, very clear to us, unequivocally clear, matter of fact, that his mercy will never leave us. First he tells us that his mercy endures forever. Then the Bible says that his mercies are new. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Every morning. every morning his mercies are new. And I'm so glad, hallelujah, for a fresh, fresh mercy, brand new mercy. Why? Because his goodness and mercy are going to follow me yes. all the days of my life. God, I thank you that I don't have to function today in yesterday's mercy. Woo! Hallelujah! But every day I wake up, I wake up to a brand new special delivery, untouched, unused, unearned, unmarried, unwarranted, unwavering, brand new Brand new mercy. That's why Thank I love you, like I do. That's why I shout. That's why I dance and sing and raise my hands. That's why I bow down at his feet. Because no matter how far I go, his love can always find me. His mercy can meet us literally anywhere. Anywhere. As I close, can I just say this? California Worship Center, we are getting ready to move into an area of heavy glory. Yeah. Come on. Thank you, Lord. I suggest you get ready and hold on to something because the mighty wind of the Holy Spirit is getting ready to move through California Worship Center. Thank you, Lord. As we prepare to consecrate ourselves at the top of this year, watch this. All 43 times that, that phrase is mentioned in the Bible, for his mercy endures forever. It is preceded by praise. Yes. Come on, you gotta stand up in here and help me praise the Lord here. It's preceded by praise. It's preceded by praise. Says, watch this, 43 times. Oh, give thanks. That's the Yes. To look, for he is good. It's worship. Then it says, for his mercy. mercy. And do it forever. 43 times. We're, we're praising God wow. even before the mercy shows up. Yes, that's Why? good. Because we know we just made it to tomorrow. <laughs> brand new. We get a brand new mercy. Can't you just begin to open your mouth wherever you are and just give God, give God praise? Lord, we thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Father, for your mercy. If it wasn't for your mercy, we'd be consumed. And destroyed by our own actions, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Father, this nation needs your mercy. Yes, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. We are pitiful people who need your mercy. Yes, Lord. We are a danger to ourselves, but for your mercy. Jesus. For every soul that decided they were going to storm that capital, Father. We pray mercy on those people, Father. We make decisions out of emotionalism and wrong thinking. And for that, Father, we need your mercy. And we send this prayer to everybody who's listening that needs mercy, Father. Our land is sick. Heal us, Lord. But you said it's my people. Yes, Lord. Who are called by my name, but humble themselves in prayer, turn from the wicked way, seek my space. And I'll hear from heaven. You said you hear our land, our sick land, Father. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, Father. Have yes. mercy on the church. Yes, Lord. That is so divided. Yes, Lord. Have mercy on the church. That has pushed you far away from it. With division. Hallelujah and injustice, Father. 
have mercy on us, Father. For not being the call, the church that you call us to be. Only you can have mercy on us, Jesus. Declare now, Father, that in this new year, Father, we, we want to live in a position and a posture grateful for your mercy. We don't want to abuse and misuse your mercy, Father. It is precious to us and we thank you for it. Now, Father, as we begin again, y'all repeat after me. Say, Lord, Lord, please forgive me. Please forgive me. For all of my sins. For all of my sins. Come on, Lord. Lord, Please forgive me. Please forgive me. For all of my sins. For all of my sins. I confess with my mouth. I confess with my mouth. And I believe with my heart. I believe with my heart. That you died for my sins. That you died for my sins. Jesus. Jesus. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Come on, live there. Live there. Rest there. Rest there. Rule there. Rule there. And abide there. And abide there. And I will serve you. And I'll serve you. With my whole life. With my whole life. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Somebody give God praise.